you know, there's also something else I want to talk about too. And what it is is this. I want to talk about the timing because just earlier, you know, I had a sister in the ministry show me uh, that this pastor, the pastor of a big church, um, where his wife, in which he's divorced from, and check this out. This was a man uh, that actually had, oops, I forgot the seatbelt, this thing ain't gonna stop until I get it done. Um, but anyway, this was a man that has been married twice. In other words, serial polygamy. He had, he had one wife, he had two children by. Then he had another wife, he had two, two children by. And whether you like it or not, according to the Bible, he has two wives and four children. Um, it's all there's to it. Now, he could put one away. He can do all the other stuff, like his get divorced, uh, whatever. You know, anyway, you, you people got your own mindset on I just thought I'd bring that out, though. But then watch this. He, he decides that he's going to come out of the closet. And notice, he comes out of the closet after the Supreme Court has ruled that all 50 states have to comply with the Gay Marriage Act. I wonder how many of you people are going to stay in these churches to where these pastors have been in the closet um, with what the Bible says is a very sinful lifestyle that will end you up into an eternal lake of fire. I don't care how much mental sin, how much justification you do of and everything else. Hey, I mean, after all, you, you Europeans are the ones who gave me the translations and, and gave all the people in the world the translation of them scriptures. And it's utterly amazing what's happening in the position and stuff. So a lot of people getting ready to start rethinking a lot of things. Guess what? Like I said, um, now all of a sudden he discovered that after two marriages, that he is going to be true to himself. He loves men. Hmm. I wonder what that is saying. What kind of challenges does that present to you women? When a man divorces you, then he leaves you for another woman. And then he leaves you saddled with two children. Oh, you know, children he has to help raise through child support and everything. And then, and, and not, not only this, here's the iron, ironic thing. Uh, his divorced wife is co-pastor with him at this church. So I need, I, I'm actually questioning the character of the people that are sitting there in a the congregation now. But anyway, um, what's amazing is, what do you women think when a man leaves the natural use of a woman and burns for a man that is the same gender that he is? What, what do you people think about that? What do you, what do you women think about men leaving you for a man. I mean, I, I'm sure you could probably stomach it a whole lot better if a man left you for another woman. But for another man, that's got to be a hard hit. That has got to be a hard hit o on a woman. It really, truly, wow. Man, I tell you, these demonic spirits, man, it's just something else. And so, hey, remember, in uh, 1974, I believe it was, is when America decide to declassify the homosexuals as a mental illness or sickness. Uh, just thought I'd drop some knowledge on you. Uh, maybe you can reevaluate your stance and stuff. I don't know. Um, but hey, does this change the way everybody believes about Obama? It should. Uh, is this really truly a God-fearing country? And if it is, what God is it? 